Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a problem on calculating a derivative where we need to apply the chain rule several times. If we look at our function, we can see that it's a composite. We have e raised to another function, but the inner function here is itself a composite. Now we're gonna start by applying the chain rule in its special case that I call the general exponential rule. If you're not familiar with that from previous videos, Check it out below, I have it linked in the description. So really what we need to do to differentiate e raised to a function is really just calculate the derivative of the inner function, which we'll call g of x here. So g of x is sine of 2x, and to calculate the derivative, g prime, for the general exponential rule, we just need to find this derivative, which we're gonna apply the chain rule again. So to calculate g prime, we're gonna apply the chain rule. We're gonna differentiate the outer function. The derivative of sine is cosine. So we get cosine of our inner function, 2x. And now, because we're applying the chain rule, we multiply by the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of 2x is just two. And we're basically done. Putting this all together with the general exponential rule, what we get for our derivative, y prime, we have g prime, which I'm gonna write as two times cosine of two x, and then that just multiplies the original exponential function, e to the g of x, which here is e to the sine of two x. And that's it. Now, you might be comfortable applying the chain rule, product rule, quotient rules without writing down your work and just applying it as you go. And what that would look like here to calculate the derivative. First, we're gonna recognize that our outer function is the exponential function. The derivative of the exponential function is itself. So we get e and we keep the inner function the same. And now we multiply by the derivative of the inside we're applying the chain rule again. The derivative of the outer function here, sine, is cosine. We keep the inner function the same. And then we multiply now by the derivative of this inner function, which again comes out to two. And this is not difficult. A lot of you are probably comfortable with that. But if you're finding combining differentiation rules together a little bit difficult, write down some of your work and make use of some of these special cases. So we get our derivative here pretty quickly using the general exponential rule. Hope you enjoyed this problem. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.